Hey guys, what's up? So, yeah, I wanted to do this video for a very long time. I was just away on, um, like, working and stuff. And I didn't have the time to do all these, uh, nice cool pictures that, uh, uh, Ark's been, um, throwing at us for a month about Genesis. So, you guys asked for this, too. You guys wanted me to sh show you these, even though you've already seen it from your favorite Ark YouTuber. So, um, I wanted to show you these pictures and I wanted to see, um, uh, what what's the deal with these things and see if we can find anything um, The first picture we're looking at right now is just like a guy with the like a mini turret I guess with the <laughs> He has wait is this the mini gun or is this is a mini turret because it looks like a mini turret because if you can see in the bottom right here It looks like it could stand like you could pick up the mini turret. I don't know it look <laughs> It looks kind of cool. I like the bullets how they're all flying around but see right here, do you see where this is right here on the left corner? I don't know, what is that? Do you know what that is? Like a monster. It looks like a monster on the side with horns. Do you see this? It's really crazy looking. But yeah, it looks like it, I don't know, it could be fighting against him or beside him. I don't know, but the Federation, te uh, the Federation um, tech suit looks amazing on this picture. It's really great. Um... Yeah, it's really great. We have like a bunch of pictures I wanted to show you. Uh, this is pretty much catching up on a month's worth of uh, pictures Ark's been sending us. So yeah, um, lots of cool items and stuff like that showing up today. All right, next picture. All right, guys, um, this is the next picture. This is, I guess, the t uh, the hover sail. Apparently, it's a two f uh, two seater. It's pretty cool. Actually, it looks legit cool. Um, as long as it's not the tech car, it's fine. <laughs> um. But yeah, it looks like you can drive, and this one sails on it? And I don't know what this Griffin is doing. This Griffin's like, hey, I used to be a two-seater. And he's like, no, this is a two-seater now. <laughs> but yeah, it looks pretty cool. I don't, it's going to be hovering. I don't think it's going to be flying, so. I wonder what this is going to be used for, though. Because, um, why use this when I have a Griffin or a, well, I guess this could be like a second... Like, if you can't get griffins on uh, Genesis 2, I'm not sure. But if you can use this instead of a griffin, that'd be great. Um, Alright, guys. Uh, yeah, this is the one of the other pictures, too. Uh, this is the ammo crate, and apparently it looks amazing. The ammo crate looks really amazing. I wonder how big it is for, like, building. Because I do have, like, a vault, I always do, of just ammos. And it's nice to have, like, a storage unit for just ammo only. And it looks like it, it, you could put element in here, and uh, ammo sh uh, element shards, sorry, and use it for your tech generators, because this looks like it could just refill everything without how- it looks like it, anyways. And it looks like there's some summoners in the back or something like that. This thing looks like it's gonna auto-refill your torrents, which is pretty cool. If it's tech in any way, I don't know if it'll do that. But it kind of gets that vibe, do you know what I mean? Like, it's gonna refill your t your turrets as long as you have this, like, in a, in a vicinity nearby the turrets. So, yeah. Really cool. You got your tech turrets right there. You got your big boy um, turrets. Um, do you have the normal ones? No, I don't see any normal torrent. Turrets? Turrets? <laughs> torrents. Torrents. <laughs> So yeah, um, there's a new thing I have not seen. It looks like a rocket right there. Do you see that? A rocket turret? Or is that a tech? It's probably tech. Uh, it looks like a rocket to me. Um, that's all I can say about the ammo crate. Um, it's nice that they're adding like an ammo storage thing for you. Because, like I said before, I use a, a vault just for ammo. So it's nice because I like to build ammo in bulk. And because you never know what's going to happen. So I like to build ammo in bulk. And this right here is just going to be amazing. I'm gonna have volts and these uh, one of these things in the middle so I can have like decoration so it can look nice. Alright, let's go to the next picture, yeah? Alright, um <laughs> Alright guys, so this picture is kinda silly to me. Um uh, first off because of this guy's lips. It looks very weird on this picture. I'm not really sure why it looks weird to me. But uh yeah, it looks really weird. Um We're gonna okay. But yeah, the the <laughs> Alright, so, okay, yeah, it, I don't know why, it just really looks weird to me, uh, the lips, I, I don't know what is, it, what is with his lips, it's just, it's very distracting to me, if I could just block that out, I would, <laughs> but yeah, um, we have to talk about the main thing is the tech pistol, 
which looks freaking amazing. Um, I don't know what's... This is a Federation suit again without the helmet. Should have kept the helmet on, bud. And, um... <laughs> oh, that's mean. Anyways, yeah. Um... It's just without... It's just a very dark color, and I like it. It's like got the gold and, and black. I might try that one day. And he's got the sunglasses. And I see that he's shooting at a raptor, because you can see the raptor's little feathers in the, in the uh, reflection of the frames. Which looks really nice. I wish I could zoom in, but I can't, apparently. Because, uh, yeah. I just can't. I don't want to have a software that could do that for me. Um, I could use something else, but it's just really annoying. Uh, but yeah, it looks pretty cool. You got your ammo containers right here. It, it looks like it's gonna be a tech pistol, like, with element shards, probably. I'm not sure. But it looks pretty cool, I'm gonna admit. Um, just remove the guy's face, put a helmet on him, and he'd be great. This would be a great picture, but... I don't know what it is with this guy's lips. It looks so weird in his nose. I don't know. It looks funny to me. Um, but yeah, it looks great. He's shooting off a raptor. Pretty great. Alright, guys. We're at the next picture. Looks pretty interesting because this is a this is supposed to be a canoe that you can, like, create when you're, um, like, probably low level because it's not that advanced technology. But it looks pretty cool. I mean, it's a two-seater. It looks like it could be a three-seater, to be honest with you. But it kind of, I don't know. It just depends on Ark. I think Ark can make it a three-seater easily. Because you could put someone in the middle of that. Of the, the canoe. So yeah, this is the canoe. Um, let me see. There are mushrooms growing this blue, yucky, green, gross booger right here. <laughs> and yeah, you got people on the Federation to, uh, tech skin right here. And also, um, one of them is wearing a Rex helmet. Do you see that? Or is that a raptor helmet? I think that's a raptor helmet. Rex head would be, like, freaking huge. It'd be covering the boat, and they'd be sinking down to the floor where this spinal is going to be eating them. <laughs> I wonder if they'll be able to attack this. I bet they would. I mean, I mean, they can attack... The stupid whale can attack the freaking raft. I don't see why they this anyone could attack the canoe. So, yeah, this is going to be probably low, le uh, low life, so... You need to be careful where you use this thing. Gonna be awesome to use though. I cannot wait. Um, the water looks poisonous to me, doesn't it? Look like it's purple. This is a very weird environment. I can't believe all these environments are in Genesis too. I see a lot of Greenlands and I in a lot of space, but this area looks really. I don't know. It looks like it. it I don't know. Could it be in Genesis too? This area. It looks like a ocean mushroom land, and there's a summoner in the back. Do you see that? There's a summoner in the background. All right, we're on the next one. This is for like PvP-based stuff. Um, uh, this is pretty cool. This one has like the kits for the Federation suit. This one's chitin. This one's flak. Wait a minute. If this is a chest piece for flak, where's the chest piece for flak then? Cause so I can see the pants. I can see the arms. The helmet. And the legs, the shoes, but I don't see a chest piece, even though it says a chest piece is indicated. Alright, well, fine, that's fine. <laughs> Alright, uh, we got the sniper rifle, we got the shotgun, medical brew, cryopod. It could, could that, could it show, like, what cryopod in there? That would be great, because, um, like, say it would have a picture of a Rex, that would be freaking cool. So I'd be like, okay, I need to take out my emergency Rex, um cryopod guy and then just get the stuff and then just run out this is just like a uh, rust pretty much so yeah they're basically trying to increase their pvp which is great but i don't know man it, it, i guess it's great but mm, a lot of people play arc on pve all right and he has a crossbow he has a long neck rifle this guy has a shotgun on the left he has the tech he has a tech sniper rifle that's badass okay yeah, it looks like it's on a metal base, and it looks like it's on the, like, the background looks like it's... Why would you have this out in the open, first off? This is not even sealed in or anything. It's fine, I think it's just doing it for a dramatic effect. But yeah, it looks like it's like in a plant area base, so yeah, that's pretty cool. A lot of great things about the PvP. I can't... I, one of these days I'll play it, man. Because I gotta try everything in Ark. Alright, let's go to the next picture, yeah? All right, guys, uh, we're at the next picture. Uh, I guess this is going to be like a tech uh, crop plot, which we did talk about in the previous pictures um, before. And it's really cool, but um, yeah, it looks like it's in a green, greenly area, I guess, because it's really great. 
but I'm just wondering what the heck is this big ass plant that's in the thing? Uh, it looks great. Wow, it looks like it has like little solar panels on the sides on the tech crop plot. It looks pretty cool. Um, but I'm just wondering what this plant is right here. <laughs> it's like a spiky tail snake kind of thing. Like, it, like, like an animal is in there <laughs> and then the tail is just sticking out. But I like it, dude. It looks great. It's probably one of the new trap, um, like trap plants, you know, like, tra um, species Y and X and stuff like that. So yeah, plants. Yeah, this could be it, man. This could be something, a new thing that, that grabs onto you and just doesn't let go. Really interesting. I cannot wait to see what this is, and I cannot wait to see what it does. Oh, there's a tech pistol. Do you see a pistol on the floor? There's a pistol on the floor. <laughs> oh, that's pretty great. And yeah, um, really great. It looks like there's a wall in the background. Do you see this? I have a wall around, and then there's a tower. And that's about it. Oh yeah, there's four lights on the each side. Alright, let's just go to the next picture, yeah? Okay, we're at the next picture. Now, this is the most exciting thing I ever saw. Okay, first off, I thought this freaking thing was going to be a shoulder pet. And that's it. <laughs> it was going to be replacing the Noglin and the Otter and everything like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But no, it is a big freaking flying freaking platypus squirrel, okay? It looks freaking awesome. There is some certain things I want to point out right now. It's flying. Okay, it's like flying, and your person is holding it by the saddle. I don't know if you could do that. I don't know how that would look like, but I don't think it, you're gonna be like this, holding onto the the bar like that, and you're flying like that. I don't think so. I think you're gonna be just sitting on it and flying on it. Um, the biggest thing about this picture is that there are three baskets in the side of this thing. Um, there's one basket on the right and two baskets on the left and might there might be another basket on the right So it could be a total of four baskets, but these baskets are carrying baby dinosaurs These are babies. These have to be babies, right? No way the, the this thing's bigger than an Argentavis or a Raptor. There's no way so these have to be little baby trans This is a baby transport, which is pretty awesome. I mean, you don't have to crowd pod uh, babies anymore. But yeah, it looks like you could transform, uh, transport a normal dodo though. So that's great. You could transport probably a normal dodo because dodos are not that big. Um, this is great. This little thing is going to be very useful. I thought this thing was going to be useless, but after seeing this, I don't think so, man. It looks like it's up in a sky city and there's some pteranodons in the back. And it looks like there's a spaceship on top, kind of in a way. But yeah, this thing, this tame is gonna be very cool to look at, man. I, I can't wait to like grab some tiny babies and just fly them into space. <laughs> All right, let's go to the next picture. Okay, guys, we're at the next picture. Uh, this one looks very freaking interesting. I guess this is the tech in incubator. Um, we got like a bunch of eggs in here. I don't know what this means, but there's a giga, a baby giga, and a baby wyvern, and a why are the wyvern and the dodo screaming at each other? <laughs> but yeah, they're screaming at each other. The giga looks very angry like he always is. And then the rex is just like, oh my god, look how many eggs are all in there. <laughs> Alright, so, um, I don't know what these numbers are. See, there's like, there's, you got like, like, I don't know what egg that is. That could be a bra, brano? Not bronto, um, baryonyx? Wait. What's that one alligator? I don't know. There's a one alligator one that's in the water. Um, not a capro, but the other one. Baryonyx? I think it's a baryonyx. Um, egg. And it looks like it has a number on it. I don't know what that number is. It could be how much time's left on it. How many, how many levels it is. I'm not sure. But it does have a female and male uh, on it. So that's great to indicate what it's gonna be. So that's a big thing too because... Wait a minute. Yeah, so it's predicting its gender? That's very interesting. Yeah, that's really cool if it can predict its gender. Um, the numbers, on the other hand, I have no idea what that could be. It could be levels. It could be how much time is left on them. It could be... Huh. What kind of grade of egg they are, <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you. It could be, uh, a, like, the tech eggs are 100? Why are the... The Magmasaur eggs 100. The Wyvern eggs are 38. It could be time. It could, you know what? I'm gonna be honest. It could be how much time you have left on these eggs. 
really cool to have a timer on this. I cannot wait until S Plus indicates this if they're going to do anything with this new technology stuff and configure it to where it's just going to be so awesome. Because you know S Plus. S Plus always makes it better, man. All right. Let's go on to the next picture. I'm wondering if I have any more pictures. All right. So this one I'm really excited about because this looks like a new tech suit, okay? Uh, tech suit. A new tech mech, okay? And it looks freaking amazing. It looks like a tank buster. You know, like in Hulk. It looks like a, uh, like an uh, Iron Man. Iron Man fights the Hulk. It looks like a tank buster, man. And it looks great. I want to paint it red and gold just for that. Call it the Hulk buster. And I, I just cannot wait for this to come out. Um, if this, you could build this, I'm going to flip and lose it. And I'm going to pimp this out really bad. I mean, like, I'm going to be... This looks so freaking cool. Man, dude, imagine putting the mech in this guy. This guy, I want this guy to be a tank, like, mech. Like, it takes a lot of damage, and the guys in the background can, like, do um, melee damage on it. I would love this, and this would be awesome. Um, he looks like he's running away. There's explosions in the background. Um, Federation just tech suit every time in these pictures. But, yeah, the, um, this mech, is, this mech armor is just amazing. They did a really good job. Three fingers on these things, so they can grab like a lot of good things. Um, wow. I I hope I can paint this to where I want it, like red and gold, and then I can like call it the uh, uh, Hulk Buster. So yeah, this is cool. Um, you got metal in the background. You got crystal. You got obsidian right there on the floor. Hmm. Huh. Looks like he, I don't know why there's explosions, but it's a, it's a crazy battle. He's not running away from the, he's running away from the explosions, not from this guy. He's probably getting trying to get into the tech uh, mech thingamajig. Yeah, I think he is. But overall, freaking awesome. All right, um, this one's a little weird. Um, apparently, don't if you ever see this plant in Genesis, stay the hell away from it because it's gonna eat your sheep. <laughs> so apparently, um, we got confirmation that sheep will be in Genesis 2, which is great. Um, it's called the Carniflora, <laughs> Carniflora, and it, yeah, it's a Venus flytrap, but for sheep. <laughs> yeah, there's this is another place where there's a lot of like flowers and stuff, like lively stuff that will probably try to eat you. Hmm, very interesting, and I, I don't see anything else. It looks like we're in the sky. It's so weird. I can't. I just can't wait for the Genesis Batman. It's gonna be great. Uh, I haven't seen anything about it. I haven't no. I don't know anything about it, so it's all new to me. All right, let's go. All right, this one it takes the cake. This one's awesome. If you know me, I like bows in any game, and this one just takes the cake, man. The tech bow, day one build, man. Because man, this thing it looks so cool. I mean, look at the strings on it. It's all element. Look at that. The strings are element. Look at how many separate like things are on it, man. That is so cool. How many like sh they're separate strings? What I'm talking about. It's like separate element strings and it's all element and she's just like carrying all the strings into her fingers and they're just releasing the element on to hit on the shadow man right here so yeah this is the same place i was talking about in the last picture really incredible uh she looks great with her federation suit skin looks like mariam <laughs> totally looks like mariam being a badass but yeah look the tech bow looks cool i cannot wait to get an upgraded version of it and just destroy everything all right guys we're on the strider one now and this one looks really cool and also it tells us a distinction from from male and female because you can totally tell this one on the left is like a bright color but with horns and you it, it's it's a male it's a male deer robot <laughs> So yeah, and this looks like the green, uh, lively green area that I've noticed in all like the previous pictures. So that's great. And then this one on the right right here is the female because it has no antlers, and it looks like more of a like kinder version of the deer. So yeah, it looks pretty great, and it does look like it has a cannon on its arm. Do you see this? That's that's a bad cannon right there. Um, I don't know what what these things are gonna be. Uh, are they going to be tameable? Are they going to be climbable? Are we going to be able to climb this and see the map like in Horizon Zero Dawn? <laughs> we don't know yet. But yeah, there's a extinction between a male and female deer robot. So yeah. Um, they don't... I thought these things were going to be huge. But apparently they don't look huge to me. Or maybe I'm just tripping. 
Maybe they're just normal deer and not huge deers. Do you see what I mean when I say that? Because this is a ground right here and then it's just this. Like, I don't know. Is it? It's confusing to me. Are these normal deer or are these huge deer? Robot deers. Because it, there's the ground. Okay. Okay, never mind. They're huge deers. Do you see this little tiny raptor right here? Yeah, these are huge deers. So this tiny little raptor uh, compared to these big ass deer. Oh yeah, yeah, these are big deer. Okay. I wonder if we can tame them. Um, can we climb them and um, like take over? Build on top of them like on titanosaurs? That'd be great. Oh, okay. So this is my last picture. That's all I have. <laughs> this was um, uh, two days ago video. And yeah, I showed you what this is. Uh, the summoner. It, I have a video on it. Guys, um, I think that's enough for me today. I'm so sorry that, um, you know, things are a little different going forward, but I'm trying to, you know, like, get back into ARK and stuff like that so I can be ready for Genesis 2. Um, haven't been here for a month on YouTube, so yeah, trying to get back into ARK. Really appreciate it, guys, if you leave a like on the video. Um, if this video is out for you and you're still hanging on. Um, I'm over at Twitch right now and I'm streaming um, Ark Hope, the map, and it's amazing. I've died so many times and it's so much fun. Guys, um, but yeah, go over to Twitch, leave me a follow, please. I need 50 followers. Just real simple. And that's it, man. Thank you so much for watching if you're still watching this. And guys, I will talk to you all later. Peace out.